Good morning. There's still, there's like little things that are, I'm like, oh, I should have gone straight for more confidence in the, always, in the execution or da da da. You I know. feel that way all the time. Okay. Yeah. I make every damn video I make. I feel that way <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Okay. There's no, it will always feel that way. Okay. Yeah. Which I guess is just part of the. It's part of it. Yeah. You're just going to get better and better at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always going to find a way to make and do it better. You know why? Because you're getting better every time you do it. Right. But if you don't put it out there, you're disservicing, like you're just, you're not swinging effectively, yeah. so nobody's hearing it. And you, you, like, there's no bad swing. That's the way I see okay. it. Okay. There's okay. really, truly no bad, like, unless it's fucking awful. <laughs> like, but, yeah. but if you're, like, right. if it's okay, and that was totally okay, you spoke clearly, you didn't stumble on anything. Yet another Saturday, and it's everyone's favorite day of the week, including mine, because every single Saturday, I come out to the Valhalla land to put some time and effort into our gardens, into our community, and into building the school of our dreams. You see, building a community, building a school, building buildings, making gardens, practicing permaculture or eco-construction or any of that stuff requires an enormous amount of time and input, and it's a very dynamic project. I've been an entrepreneur now for nine and a half years, and I've done everything from an indoor skate park to running a marketing agency, but nothing demands more week to week, day to day time and input than building a farm. And so every single Saturday, myself and many of the Valhalla members gather to give a kind of a public opening and tour to people who are interested in our project, but also to just kind of hang out, to just kind of put a little bit of time and effort into some of the different projects that allow us to keep moving forward. So this Saturday, even though I'm going to a wedding later today, I'm still putting in the time early this morning. You know, we're still making some pizzas. We're still got a whole bunch of stuff going on each and every single week. And that consistency is what allows us to make beautiful magic happen. But not only are we doing this in person, but we're also doing it online. There's so much work, so many meetings, so many conversations, so much coaching and, and, and private conversations that I'm having each and every single day to make this a reality. So, you know, being an entrepreneur, in my opinion, is, is more than a full-time job. We talk about freedom. The truth is I work nine to nine and that kind of mentality is what allows me to continue to make my life a reality. See, I truly believe that if we're going to live a life of freedom and empowerment, we do have to put in the time at the beginning to set up those different systems so that, you know, hey, yeah, I want to be able to have my, my own food and grow my own food and, and catch my own water, but you have to put the time to do that in the first place. You have to, you have to plant the seeds of that, you know, on the short term to have the long term benefits of all of that freedom. So recognize that, you know, snapping your fingers and, and, and sustainability is a lifestyle. It is a way of living, not a product, not a choice. I mean, it's not one single action or thing that you do like composting or or buying the eco labeled product in the store. It's truly a way of carrying out your life on a day to day basis in all facets of your life. And so, yeah, I mean, hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight of what that looks like. But I truly believe that if you put time and effort into it on a day to day basis, or at least on a week to week basis, you're going to see your project grow in leaps and bounds. You know, when we first came out here in Valhalla, this is, there was nothing here. It was, GMO corn and soya, and the, the soil was as barren as it can possibly be. And now over time, more and more and more things are growing, more and more people are coming, more and more people have faith in the project and join into the project. Uh, they subscribe to the beliefs of the project and it and it becomes a, a machine that runs itself. It becomes an organic process, just like having planted a seed that starts to sprout and germinate and, and create the fruits of its own labor. So make it happen. Stop waiting. It's not gonna happen for you and nobody's gonna do it for you. Nobody's going to be in charge of your freedom quite like yourself.